Hey there, this is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. When I first got into real estate investing, I had no idea how to build websites. So it was one of the last things that I could possibly manage to pull off. What I eventually found was that I wasn't the only person with this problem. I know that there's a lot of investors out there who would absolutely love to create a better online presence, but they just have no clue how to do it. So they just kind of give up or they just, just sort of ignore it. I'm telling you right now, that is the wrong thing to do. Okay, A real estate website can be an immensely helpful and important thing in your business. It'll position you as an expert, build your brand identity, help you reach a global marketplace. We're talking anybody in the world, and it's a way to make your business available to people 24-7. Anytime a customer wants to get a hold of you or find out more information about who they're going to do business with, they can do that if you've got a great website up and running. The good news is it's actually not that difficult to create a website. This video is part one, and I'm going to show you how in less than five minutes you can have your website online and ready to go. So if you're ready to rock, step one of this process is to click on the Bluehost affiliate link you see below this video. If you're watching this on the RE Tips Your Block, you can see a banner right below this video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click on the notes below, and you'll see the link right at the top. Once you click on that link, it's going to take you right over to the sign-up page over at Bluehost. All right, now, once you click on the affiliate link below this video, you're going to see a page that resembles something like this. Now I know depending on when you're watching this, Bluehost may have updated this page a little bit. You might see a different layout or a different picture or something maybe different, but really all you have to do is go click on this button right here. Now the first thing you're going to do is to pick your domain name. Most people are probably going to want to pick something that vaguely resembles the name of their business or what they do, something to that effect. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to put easy real estate website. Click next. All right, now this next step is just to put in all of your personal and payment information. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to cover this up just to protect my own personal info. When you move down here to the package information, as you're looking at all these details, you're going to notice that the more you're willing to buy at once, the better price you're going to get. But I'm just going to get 12 months. When it comes to these options here, I'm going to uncheck these two, and I'm going to keep this domain who is privacy option checked, which is an extra $9.99 per year. And just so you understand what that means, it's really just something that's going to protect your privacy in case anybody's ever trying to look into who you are and who owns your particular domain. So I always feel better having that check. And then you go down here to billing information and you just put in your info, follow the usual drill. And I'm going to cover this up one more time for obvious reasons. Go down here, make sure this box is checked, and then hit next. The next page is going to show you all these additional add-ons that you can include in your package if you want to. Personally, I don't need any of them, so I'm just going to go to the bottom and hit complete. Okay, now our transaction is officially complete. We've bought the domain name and the hosting for one full year. The next step is to create your password, so I'm going to do that quick. All right, now to create your new password, Bluehost actually requires that you come up with a pretty complex password. You can't just do your typical password one, two, three, or anything like that. Just to make sure that you don't forget yours, whatever it happens to be, I'd probably recommend saving it in a safe place, just so you have it on hand. And create that. And then it's going to ask you to actually log into your account using that same password you just created. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now once you're in here, you're going to want to go up here where it says C panel. That stands for control panel. That's going to bring you to a screen that looks something like this. And the first thing you're going to want to do is click on this WordPress button for website builders. You go through this process here. Just give it a couple seconds. And when you see this page, you're going to go right over here to start a brand new install. Click on that. When you see these two boxes, you'll check both of them. I'm going to call this Easy Real Estate Website because that's the name of the domain. We got all the other stuff there, so we will keep going. And then once those are both checked, you'll just hit Install Now. This installation could take a few seconds, so just be patient and let it do its thing. All right, now our installation is complete. Once you see this message, you're going to want to click on this link right here that says Login URL, because that's the URL that you're going to need anytime you want to log into your WordPress site. Just as a starting point, we'll go there. I'm just going to put in my username and password. And if for some reason you don't know what that is, they just give you your username and password on the previous screen. So that's where they give it to you. Login. 
When you first log into your WordPress website, it's going to look something like this. WordPress has actually changed the look of this back end thing a few times. So depending on when you're watching this, it may not look exactly like this, but you should be able to follow along because it should look something like this. Now, if you go up here, you can actually see what your website looks like right now. And as you'll see, it really doesn't look like much. It looks like just kind of a blank blog without any real information because you haven't put any information there yet. So your website is officially online and live, but in order to actually make it look like something, you're going to have to go on to step two where I'm going to show you how to either create a buying website, a selling website, or a blog. As you'll see, all three of them are relatively easy to do. It's not terribly complicated. Follow the steps that I'm going to show you, and you can do it in no time. Hopefully this first step was helpful. If you can spare just a few more minutes and join me in step two, I will show you how to finish the job and get your real estate website completed, up and running, and helping to serve your business. Thanks again, and I will talk to you soon.